ಅಮೃತವಾಣಿ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣಿ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣಿ ಅಮೃತವಾಣಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೋಲಿ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಆ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬಿ ಅಪಾನ್ ಯು ಡಿಯರ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ಟ್ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ದ ಗಾಸ್ಪಲ್ ಸ್ಪಿಂಕ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಐಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ he is come the end times is coming people will tell you shouldn't believe in them and even in the first reading of today it is spoken about it speaks about the vision of daniel regarding the huge boulder the rock that collapses a huge structure the statue which stands for the kingdoms of the world being destroyed by Christ who comes Christ is the boulder who destroys all the kingdoms and he will reign so dear brothers and sisters let me give you this one simple idea in a school in a classroom the teacher was standing and giving the class and then she says dear kids please be silent do your homework and whatever work i'm giving you please write it do it be silent i am coming in some time and then the teacher goes out as soon as the teacher goes out the kids leave the homework the teach the kids leave being silent and they get talking to each other one moves from one place to the other and so much of chaos and confusion and sound and noise in the class and among all these there will be one intelligent kid who will be standing near the door looking whether the teacher is coming and then just a small signal from him is enough hey teacher is coming fine khata everyone will get back to the place and act as if they did nothing and when the teacher comes she will find the classroom silent but what she'll say dear kids please do not act i know what you were doing i know what you were doing in my absence this is the same that happens with us jesus lived amongst us he went to his father and is coming back instead of living in the way jesus told us we live as we want and then we depend upon this tom dick and harry to tell us when jesus is coming so that we may act act basically act in a good way that's why even that is fixed in our minds in the youth in a young age all through the life people live as they want and when they are getting old towards the eve of their life they would love to remember god and live in god why life is compartmentalized lord that time belong to me now as i'm coming close to you now i want to give this time to you the kid who was sitting and doing his duty being silent and doing the work given by the teacher has no need to look at that boy who was giving a signal and saying teacher is coming he would very plainly tell what so what let teacher come now or later i am doing what she told me to do let jesus come today tomorrow or day after i am ready i will do what i know that i'm doing because i know that i am doing what my lord has told me to that confidence is really necessary in our life dear brothers and sisters jesus wants us to live a life worthy to be called his child his children so let us make this prayer 
Eternal Father God, we thank you and praise you, Lord. Help us not to be actors. Help us not to act. Help us not to think of things that are not you. But Lord, keep our hearts and minds on the word that you have given to us. And may by obeying your word, being obedient unto you, we may gain the good that you have come to give us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.